Hey friends, welcome back to Beer and Beauty. It's Kasha. Today's beer of the day is a beautiful beer called Disco Ninja. Looks like this. I'm always attracted to a, a beautiful artwork kind of on a beer can, and um, the artwork on this beer can is definitely very evocative. And it's a Northwest, I don't know, not Northeast style hazy IPA. Cheers. Let's give it a taste. It's just so good. It is, yeah, it's like bright, hoppy, delicious, fruity, uh, hazy, unfiltered. Did I say fresh? All the stuff. All the things that I love. A little bit of, feels like a disco party or something like that in my mouth. It, I, I just, I don't know. I love it. Cheers to that. But today's video is going to be my empties. Since the last time I did an empties. As you can see, it's kind of big. I have it inside my, this like Whole Foods bag. This is gonna be a little bit of a doozy. Uh, we got quite a lot of stuff here. We got samples, full-size products, full-size makeup products. There's like a lot of makeup in here. Uh, and there's bath products, uh, skincare, a little bit of everything. So I guess let's go ahead and get into it. And let's uh, talk about, I do a lot of MT's videos because I go through a lot of products. And I love doing uh, MT's videos a lot because I feel, and I love watching them as well because I feel like once you empty out a product, you get a really good sense of what that product was like rather than, you know, a first impressions video or any other kind of review video. Uh, once you use something up, you you get a sense of whether or not uh, your money was well spent. Uh, and yeah, without further ado, there's a lot in here. Let's go ahead and get into uh, the products. So the way I usually do these videos is I start with like lifestyle stuff, like vitamins and candles and different lifestyle things like that. And then I go into bath and body products. And then I go into skin, a hair care and then skin care. And lastly, I will finish off with makeup. So depending on how long this video is, I think I might leave some timestamps down below. So if there's a section of the video you are most interested in, you can click on the timestamps down below and check that out. And before I get into talking about everything, uh, if there's anything that I mentioned that you think you'd like to pick up online, uh, I hope you use my link to sign up for Rakuten. Right now they're doing a promotion that when you sign up using my link, you get a $40 bonus the first time you use uh, Rakuten. Rakuten is a cash cashback app and website. I've actually gotten hundreds of dollars uh, cash back and great coupons from using Rakuten, so I highly recommend it. You can use it on Ulta, you can use it on Sephora, you can even use it on like Groupon or uh, Expedia or different like booking websites when you travel as well as when you shop online for uh, basically any kind of retailer, usually you can get cash back through Rakuten, so I highly recommend it if you wanted to use my link, it's going to be down below. Yeah, I think that's all the housekeeping, so let's get, go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I have to share with you is this probiotic from Dr. Garden of Life, Dr. Formulated Probiotics. Uh, it's the 40 billion CFU woman's uh, care one. And it's, I've, I've taken this many times before, I'm actually on the second bottle of this right now. And I'm probably gonna buy this again one day. Uh, this is a really good one that you can get at Target. It's really accessible and easy to buy. In the past, I've always taken the Trader Joe's ones because those are an even better price point and they are very effective as well. But um, this one's also very effective and I like it. We got a candle. I think this is just like a regular Glade candle from the grocery store. I think they were on sale for like $3 at the grocery store. This was like the winter nights scent. And yeah, I've been uh, occasionally buying like uh, candles at the grocery store just because I live in this apartment alone and it's been actually getting a little bit chilly uh, in recent weeks in LA. I've actually run my space be heater a couple times in recent weeks. Burning a candle just gives the, gives the space a little bit of atmosphere and I think it's really nice and I like it and but I will say that these candles don't burn very long like I bet by I, I think I actually have another one around here somewhere I had one that had that was like orange and red and was like two different scents and that one I burned in like a week if you burn it every day for a, a week it goes out in a week 
This one I think I, I burned out even faster because I, uh, naughty naughty, I uh, fell asleep while it was burning. <laughs> yeah, it burns really quickly, so. I think I'm gonna go to Ross and pick up some candles next time I go to buy candles because they often have really beautiful, high quality candles at great price points over at Ross, so I think I'm gonna do that. Bath products. I used up this toothpaste from Hello. This is actually the second tube of this toothpaste from Hello I've used. This is the uh, charcoal activated toothpaste. It's like black when you brush your teeth and then, you know, it's really cool and Instagrammable. And yeah, and it's sulfate free, which is the reason, or SLS free, so it's the reason that I buy this stuff primarily. And it's just a good toothpaste. It's a uh, pretty on offensive I guess you can say like I think anybody would be would enjoy this the only problem is that it does like leave a mess in the bathroom like in the sink it like little black the foam is black so it just leaves like a little splashes of black everywhere and you have to clean the bathroom a little bit more often but that's actually kind of a good thing for me because if something doesn't look dirty I'm not liable to to be very good about cleaning it so <laughs> if something looks dirty I'm, I'm I'm more likely to spend every like once one or one day every week uh, cleaning it up so um, that's good and I think I will buy this again one day because you can get it at Target it's pretty available but right now I actually got some moon toothpaste that I got on Ulta which you can see me unboxing in my latest Ulta unboxing video so I'm gonna try those moon ones. They're also charcoal activated toothpastes, but this one was good. I used up uh, some dental floss from Gum. Dental floss, mint waxed, looks like this. It's just some dental floss I had around. I'm trying to get back into flossing. I'm still not really good at doing it every day, but I'm trying to get back into flossing, trying to get back into you know doing a lot of things for my health. Uh, flossing is a big one because having an infected gums is not a good look. It's not very cute. Um, but I don't like this brand. I like like the smooth slide kind of like flosses. I actually have some up and up brand ones that I'm using right now. Um, this kind is a little bit more abrasive. I feel like it cut, cuts my gums. So I don't really like this kind as much. But I'm sure if you were somebody that had healthy gums, it wouldn't be as much of an issue for you. I, I admit I don't have the world's healthiest gums, but I'm working on it, trying to do my part to floss more often. And I think I bought this because it was like the cheapest one of, like at the store, so that's why I bought it. Uh, and if I'm ever in a situation to buy, where I need to buy the cheapest possible floss, I'm probably liable to buy this again. This I never actually got a chance to use. This is the Salted Citrus Ulta Beauty hand soap that exploded in my last order, but maybe I'll put a little water just to um, just to activate whatever's left in here and just get a sense of what it's like, but I can't tell you if I'm, I would repurchase it because I, I don't know what it was like. But I did use up this other hand soap that I bought that did, that did arrive full and ready to go. And this is the Ulta Beauty Sparkling Lemon Moisture Gel Hand Soap. Looks like this. And it was beautiful. It was moisturizing, it smelled nice, it was an all-in-all -all good experience using this stuff. Uh, I probably would purchase it again if I needed to, but I might go back to Trader Joe's one of these days coming up because I want to get... I'm almost out of the shower gel that I bought from Trader Joe's and I'm they have a hand soap there, a French milled hand soap that I really love that I might go pick up there and the vitamins that I love and also they always they always have great snacks. Who doesn't love Trader Joe's? Trader Joe's is great so I might go back to Trader Joe's pick some shit up. Oh I forgot to mention uh, another vitamin in here. Oh and here's that candle I was talking about. Yeah another Glade candle just like the one I mentioned earlier but this one was like red on top and then orange on the bottom. Delightful, smelled great, but it doesn't last very long. Uh, Woman's Multi from 365. I think this is just like a Target brand or no, I think this is like a Whole Foods brand. I have nothing to say about this. Uh, I feel like the tablets were like really big so I don't think I'm gonna like repurchase this because I didn't like notice anything about my health improving or decreasing or anything like that. 
maybe if I ever go back to Whole Foods to buy vitamins, but I don't know. We shall see. Yeah, nothing, nothing to report to you on that. I used up a deodorant from Degree. Um, this actually I got when I got stranded in an airport overnight um, at the Denver International Airport because a microburst uh, made it so we couldn't land and then I missed my connection so I had to spend the night in the airport and my I had to check my bag and my toothbrush was in my bag so I was given this like little kit uh, like they, they didn't give out like hotel stays or anything cool like that. That would have been nice, but that's not what happened. But they gave me this like little kit of like little things to freshen up with. Like there was like uh, a makeup wipe, a toothbrush, a little thing of toothpaste, this deodorant, and it was all in a water bottle. I think that's it. Um, but anyway, I used this up. Now after a woman's deodorant, this is one of the better ones, I think. But I don't love women's deodorant and I would not repurchase this because I do believe this is the kind that has aluminium. Oh, well that's good. Wait, no, it does have aluminium. Um, aluminum, if you will. I just like saying aluminium because it's funny. And this didn't have a lot of product in it. It had 0.5 ounces, so it only took, it didn't even take me a whole month to use this up. But I had it and I wanted to use it up and I did. It works, but it doesn't work quite as well as like a men's deodorant, basically. So, so I won't be repurchasing this, but it's a thing that I used up. I think this is this might have been one of the toothpastes that was in that kit that I mentioned earlier. This is just Crest 3D White, a, a little mini toothpaste. This is actually one of my favorite like drugstore toothpastes, a, like a, like regular off the cuff popular toothpaste, but I don't think I'll repurchase it because I've got two big tubes of the Moon toothpaste, so I have plenty of toothpaste to hold me over, but uh, I do like Crest. I feel like it's a better formula than some of the other like drugstore toothpaste that you can buy. Used up a uh, razor from Venus Gillette. I just, I like the Venus razors, but I just buy the most basic kind because I think all the other kinds are gimmicky. So I just go for the cheapest one, which is the basic one. And yeah, I think I will repurchase that one day. This is a homemade concoction that I made. This is a coffee scrub that I used up. Um, you can buy some of this in my Etsy shop as well as on my uh, Poshmark page. I make my own coffee scrubs and different uh, body, uh, bath and body products. And uh, I feel like my coffee scrub is the one that offers the best exfoliation. I feel like, yeah, it just really kind of sloths off all that extra skin, makes your skin really beautiful. Um, it's got a lot of moisturizing ingredients in it, like shea butter and grapeseed oil and olive oil and argan oil even and, and different uh, products in it that are like really skin loving and nourishing so overall it makes your skin really beautiful you don't necessarily have to moisturize after using this stuff but I still do just because my skin is just so bare that it just wants a little bit uh, like it really soaks up any kind of moisturizers that you put on top of it once it's exfoliated like that so that's what I love about it and it's been really amazing on my eczema and psoriasis I basically haven't had psoriasis on my legs this whole summer and I feel like we're getting somewhere with the eczema on my left foot and I feel like good scrubs, good moisturizers are a big part of that. So I recommend this. I love this stuff. I probably, I have a lot of uh, scrubs to go through right now so probably it'll be a while before I pick, uh, make another one of these. Unless one of y'all want to buy one. Uh, I, they, they are made to order or like, or yeah, made to order or ordered to me. If once you order one, I make it. Like, so it's nice and fresh for you. So yeah, if you guys are looking for like uh, something handmade to as like a Christmas gift for the holidays coming up, you know, support a small business. I'm a small business and I make lots of body butters and scrubs and soaps and bath bombs and such. So check out my shop. All the stuff will be linked down below if you guys want to check it out. Oh. Uh, this was the makeup wipe that came with the kit that I got from the 
when I got stranded in the airport. This was the makeup wipe that came in here, and this is actually a, a refreshing cloth, so it, I think it's meant to be used at, like all over, like you can use it in your armpits to refresh and stuff like that. And it's from L'Occitane. I think it's made with like shea butter and stuff, so I thought it was actually really nice. Uh, I, it was a nice little wipe, so I liked it. I recommend it. Uh, I don't know if I'd repurchase it. Maybe. I don't know. I actually have lots of like cleansing body wipes that I got recently as like free gifts and Ulta purchases, so I'm going to be going through those for a while. As I traveled over the summer, I actually I have quite a few body butters to share with you. This is one of the first ones. This is the Body Shop Mango one. I featured a lot of Body Shop body butters on this channel before in my empties videos. And this one's very similar to all the other ones. Like the texture's the same, it absorbs the same. It smells beautiful and mangoey. It actually smells like Starburst. Like it smells kind of sweet, like candy. But like mango candy uh, and I think it was good I don't think I'll ever repurchase it though but it was fun to to try it out and I will upcycle this container and do some samples inside this or maybe I'll do, like make a little thing for a friend and yeah oh I should start doing that I should get back into making soaps and all these different things so I can make some care packages for my friends and send them to them yeah, that sounds like fun. So that was the body shop mango. I also used up this tiny little Coco Cabana cream from Sol de Janeiro. I love the scent. This is like the oil in cream, so it's a little bit more lightweight than the Boom Boom cream, but I like I love Sol de Janeiro body products so much, so much. I've never had a full size. I've only had like these little minis to try out before. I do like the Boom Boom cream better, but I still enjoy the Coca Cabana cream. I feel like they changed, yeah, they definitely changed it. Because they used to smell like the buttered popcorn jelly beans from Jelly Belly. You know, you guys know what I'm talking about? It used to smell like those, and now it smells a little bit more coconutty. And I think it's really nice. Uh, it absorbs really quickly. I don't think it really changed my skin too, too much compared to uh, body products I've tried, but this was definitely nice. I liked it. I finally used up this Kapari like coconut mini melt. It's just coconut butter, cocoa butter, or coconut, coconut oil. Um, but it's like the finest, most easy to absorb coconut oil I think I've ever tried. It really absorbs well into your skin, really lightweight, really smooth. It doesn't get chunky or weird like that. It just stays smooth and beautiful. But it is just coconut oil and it's really expensive for what it is. Though I will say it is the nicest coconut oil I think I've ever used. This actually was a gratis from Sephora. Luckily, because the coconut oil doesn't really go bad like that, but it, you can put it anywhere. I, I would put it on my scalp, I would put it like as a moisturizer all over my body. I would even put it on my lips sometimes. It's uh, very versatile, really, it melts really easily, absorbs beautifully. Really, I don't know how they made it such a, like a thinner, less greasy kind of coconut oil than, than your average like grocery store coconut oil, but it's really nice, I like it. Full size CeraVe psoriasis moisturizing cream. Finally used this up. This is like the regular CeraVe uh, moisturizer that comes in a big tub. I actually have that as well, but this one's for psoriasis. It's got 2% salicylic acid in it. I feel like it does help with my psoriasis for sure. And it, the ceramides and everything make it really moisturizing. I think you can still use it if you don't have psoriasis. You know, the salicylic acid kind of exfoliates the area, so not only does it moisturize, but it also exfoliates so that uh, the, the moisturizers kind of sink into your skin a little bit deeper. And it didn't completely heal my psoriasis, but I feel like it definitely helped. I think I will buy it again one day, probably not anytime soon though. I feel like my homemade body butters are a little, a little, are a little bit more moisturizing and they incorporate a lot more different uh, like skin-loving anti-inflammatory ingredients. Like I said, um, the salicylic acid is actually a great ingredient in here. This, the ceramides are a great ingredients. Um, but other than that, it's pretty basic, which is good because you want it to be uncomplicated. You don't want any ear intents in it. There's like no fragrances or anything weird like that, uh, which is good. Uh, yeah, just a series of ceramides and, and oils that are going to be good and uncomplicated for your skin that will help your 
help you deal with psoriasis. Um, and yeah, I thought it was good. I liked it. Really expensive for this though. I think this was like $22 for this jar. It's pretty expensive for like a kind of a small jar. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be holding off on that for a while. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, I have a little wrapper of a little bath bomb that I used up. This is the Hemp's Triple Moisture Bath Bomb. I got it at Ulta also at the last time I went and shopped at Ulta during that last Ulta haul that I did. And this was super awesome. My skin, it was super relaxing. Triple Moisture, um, I think it was a pretty regular bath bomb, but I definitely would say that I definitely did not have to moisturize after taking that bath and it was just relaxing. I actually used it last week after I went hiking up Cucamonga Peak uh, over in the Angeles National Forest and it definitely kind of was a pretty good workout on my legs so it was definitely nice to take a hot bath to just kind of like relax my muscles, muscles a little bit and a little bath bomb did the trick as well and it was super relaxing and I didn't even have to I was able to just go straight to bed afterwards and I didn't have to moisturize my whole body, which I usually do have to do after taking a bath, so that was super nice. I recommend it. I guess the last body product per se is this rose hip oil that I got from a store called Queensway and it's from African Angel. Uh, it's just a rose hip oil mixed with sweet almond oil. So it's not like a pure rosehip oil, it's mixed with the sweet almond oil, but I use this a lot in a lot of my like concoctions for when I make like body scrubs and stuff. In my rose scrub that I talked about in my last empties video, uh, I used a lot of this stuff as well. Really, it's actually really nice, it's very moisturizing. It was definitely a good base to use inside of my uh, rose scrub. Uh, I also put like actual rose oil, which is really expensive in there, as well as pure roses and rose water, and shea butter and mango butter and all the stuff and capuachi butter and all that stuff. But I don't think I'll buy this brand again. Uh, I mean, I probably will one day, but I'd like to try like a different brand of rosehip oil when I go out to buy some. I think I'm going to go over to uh, Whole Foods and get some uh, oils from there because I actually do have to replenish a bunch of my oils So I'll be picking some up from Whole Foods and I think I actually use this inside of my bath bombs as well Yeah, really beautiful all over the body oil. I actually put it in my scalp sometimes too um, Just to moisturize the area. Yeah, I think it's good. A uh, really good price point too I think this was like five or six dollars for this bottle so I like it. Um, it's much better than these other oils that you might find in like Queensway Beauty Supply. These have a lot of like like colorants and fragrances and like bizarre chemicals in it. And this one's just uh, rosehip oil and sweet almond oil. So that's what I I like an uncomplicated formula that tells me the genuine nature of the the product. <laughs> okay, so I think we're just gonna go ahead and get into some hair products. I used up this Fusion Plex from Wella uh, shampoo. It's like a protein building, bond repairing shampoo. Sally, oh I actually got this as like a free gift from Ulta when they were doing like a little gift package of like, like just free things. And I thought this was actually a really nice shampoo. Uh, I don't know if it's any better than like the Olaplex shampoo that they have on a Olaplex has like a shampoo that is like uh, that has bond repairing properties but the thing is I cut off my hair because it was very breaky. I haven't been able to like test the bonds of my hair for a while because I haven't need to, needed to put, a, put my hair up in a while. I think I might pick this up again one day if needed uh, but I don't need something, something like this for a while because my hair is not long so I don't have to like um, and it's totally natural like all of my hair that is on my head right now I don't think has ever been dyed this is like all fresh hair so I don't think I need to do like buy a bond repairing shampoo anytime soon this however is, is more likely for me to buy I really love this stuff. This is the Briogeo Scalp Revival Coconut Oil and Char Charcoal Exfoliating Shampoo. I actually have another little tube of this stuff kicking around. I've actually used up a big tub of this stuff before because I have a very temperamental problematic scalp. I have psoriasis in my scalp. And this is also just great for just removing any buildup or any kind of gunk 
if you're somebody that or like if somebody if you're somebody that uses a lot of dry shampoo as well this is a great product to have just to kind of like get all that gunk out of there and I really love the texture of it I love the smell I feel like it, it has a little bit of like a tingly sensation which I feel like might even stimulate your scalp a little bit maybe even helps promote hair growth which is nice I do feel like you need to follow this up with like some sort of moisturizer, whether it is like a leave-in shampoo or like a really good conditioner or something, or like an oil maybe. The exfoliation needs to be followed with something nourishing just so your scalp doesn't completely dry out. But I do love this stuff. Um, it's six free, which is, you know, the, the, the deal with Briogeo. I do have a little bit more of this stuff and I think I will repurchase it one day. But I do actually have quite a few exfoliating shampoos to get through right now, so it's gonna be a while, but I do have more of that stuff for, you know, the coming weeks. Um, speaking of leave-in conditioners, I finished this Tea Tree Lavender Mint Conditioning Leave-In Spray. Um, I had this for a long time. I actually got convinced to buy this because my hairstylist noticed that I had psoriasis in my scalp so she thought that I should get something with tea tree oil, oil and lavender in it to like soothe the scalp. Though I find that essential oils actually irritate my scalp so I don't think I'll repurchase it, this but it was overall a very lightweight formula. It didn't make a difference for me when I had longer hair, but I feel like it was actually kind of nice for her when I had shorter hair. But I won't be repurchasing this. I actually, the, the second I bought it, I kind of regretted it because I was on a no-buy. And this is $16.50, and I just don't think it's worth that kind of money. I feel like a lot of drugstore leave-in conditioners uh, are very similar to this. Uh, though I do feel like the tea tree in here was nice and smelled nice and was very lightweight but i don't think i'll repurchase this skin care skin care oh my gosh there's so much how do i even start this is probably the biggest category i'm getting all the skincare stuff out so i don't like lose it or misplace it i think i got all the cleansers that i used up since the last time i did a nunties video uh, mostly minis but i guess we'll start with the actual full size one this simple moisturizing facial wash. This is just like the regular hydrating sensitive skin formula from the brand Simple. I think out of drugstore uh, available cleansers, this is a good one. But I think the one that a lot of people like recommend and prefer over this one is probably the micellar one. I think that's that one's probably a better one. So if I were to ever be in a pinch and need to buy a cleanser like I was when I bought this, I think I'll buy the my, my Micellar Water one. This one was nice. I feel like if you were oily, you're not gonna like this. Though, I, it does have a nice little like non-stripping formula, but it's probably, it's still not my favorite cleanser I've ever used in my life. I probably won't be repurchasing this one anytime soon, but it was, it was fine to use up and it was a good price point. I think this was like $6 for this cleanser, so ain't nothing wrong with that. This La Roche Per Se cleanser was a lot better. Um, it was just like a regular, no nonsense, like simple, almost kind of clinical, easy to use cleanser. It was just clear. I don't believe it has any irritating ingredients in it. No, no um, fragrances or anything like that, which I like about that. It's just like a no nonsense cleanser. And you can get, buy this at the drugstore too. So yeah, La Roche Per Se is available at the drugstore so it's nice and accessible. I do believe this brand is a little bit more expensive compared to other drugstore brands but it is like really clinical and nice and it's for no normal to oily skin I, I guess but I am dry skinned and I still had fun with it. It's got niacinamide which is a great like ingredient to have in a cleanser and ceramides are nice and moisturizing. Yeah La Roche Per Se I think is a French brand so French pharmacy brands are actually really nice a lot of them. I think I'd like to buy some more stuff from La Roche Per Se or like a French pharmacy brand one of these days. I think that'd be fun. Another very clinical drugstore cleanser. This is the foaming facial cleanser from CeraVe. I think I preferred the moisturizing cl cleanser from CeraVe, but this one's fine too. Very clinical, very no nonsense, no irritating ingredients, no fragrances. I thought this one was a little bit drying just because it is a foaming cleanser. Foaming cleansers tend to be drying like that. 
non-comedogenic, so it's not going to break you out. But you know, not not very exciting either, so. Probably not going to repurchase it anytime soon. I have lots of cleansers actually I have to get through. But I actually just bought a cleanser. I think it, it's from Carez. I think I got a cleanser from Carez. No, not Carez. Campari. All these gay brands. Uh, from the last uh, BoxyCharm pop-up sale, so. I'll let you know how that all goes once I go through it. Volition Turmeric Brightening Polish. It's like a face and body physical exfoliator. I'm not really a huge fan of physical exfoliators for the face. I think they're a little bit abrasive, but this one's actually really finely milled, a nice thin formula. I don't know what they used for the granules. I feel like it could possibly be walnut shells, but no, it seems like very thin, actually breaks down a little bit. And I feel like the the turmeric in here is really brightening and anti-inflammatory, which I like. And I actually use this, you can use this on face and body. I used it on my feet a couple times. Though I feel like my feet needs a little bit something more intense than this. But this is actually a solid physical exfoliator. Uh, I don't think it's too abrasive as long as you don't dig in too hard to use on your face. I just wouldn't use it all the time. I would use it like once a week tops on your face but i do yeah that was actually a really beautiful formula really brightening really fine granules not too abrasive but still gives you a really good exfoliation whether you use it on your body or on your face if you were to use this on your face i would definitely recommend not digging it in too hard i would just kind of like roll it gently over the face as to avoid tugging but as far as using it on the body, you can dig in a little bit harder for, for the body. Yeah, and I feel like it, it's good for dealing with KP on the back of your arms, keratosis polaris on your arms and stuff. I, I think I would buy this again one day, just because the texture is very unique, very fine. Um, I think the formula is pretty interesting. I like the tu I like turmeric as an ingredient, and yeah, it's good all, overall. Okay, I guess next we'll go into serums. Or no, this this is the one essence that I used up. It's a full-size essence that I got from Cosarex at Ulta. It's the Hydro Power Essence, Acid Hydro Power Essence with the Hyaluronic Acid Complex. I thought this was awesome. I actually really love this stuff. It was very moisturizing. It actually felt like your skin was just wet. I felt like putting it extra wet water onto your face and it was actually a little bit thick which for a dry person I really like. I feel like if you're an oily person you might not like that as much. I, I bet you probably want something that like sinks in fast and doesn't feel greasy at all. I like something that feels really moisturizing and really wet. Plays nicely with other steps in my skincare routine so I think I would repurchase this one day. I do have another one, uh, essence I'm using right now from e.l.f that I also unboxed in my last unboxing video. So I probably won't be repurchasing that one, any new essences for like a good half a year because I feel like that one from e.l.f. is gonna be lasting me a long time and I actually rather like it too, so I'll use it all up. But uh, this was definitely like fun and good to use. I, I enjoyed this quite a bit, so yeah, I recommend it. Okay, so I, I actually used quite a few serums. When I went to Sephora for my birthday, I got a bunch of samples. I was really interested in trying the Glow Recipe Pineapple Vitamin C Serum. I thought that this was fine. It was actually a lot of fun to use. It smelled really nicely, but I feel like I wouldn't want to use this long term. Yeah, there's definitely fragrance in here. It is the last ingredient, the fragrance, but I, I, I don't know. It was probably just not the, my favorite vitamin C I've ever used. I still really enjoyed it. I can't wait to incorporate a vitamin C for real into my skincare routine again because I've gone with that one for a long time. I really like vitamin C serums, but it's, uh, yeah, I've just been on a no-buy so I haven't been buying them, but uh, this one was fun to try. This one was also fun to try too, this is the Kiehl's Power Strength Line Reducing Concentrate Vitamin C Serum. This is like the most powerful vitamin C possible and it's mixed in with hyaluronic acid to, as to not like, well not possible but like uh, available to buy over the counter but with the hyaluronic acid it makes it so the so the vitamin C doesn't irritate the skin too hard and I believe this has an encapsulated vitamin C rather than like the kind of vitamin C that the junk elephant is uh, so that so the eth efficacy is, is a little bit more long lasting a little bit longer than a non-encapsulated vitamin C formula would take. Yeah, if you guys want me to talk a little bit more about vitamin C's 
Uh, let me know down in the comments. I can explain to you the difference between encapsulated and non-encapsulated vitamin C's. Yeah, this is fun, but I don't think I'll use it, especially because it's got lemon peel oil in it. I don't know about that. And it's really expensive, uh, this, formu this formula. So I think if I were to buy another expensive serum, vitamin C serum from Sephora, I'd probably go back to the Drunk Elephant. That one's my favorite. Or actually, I might even try the Glow Recipe one. I actually started using this as a serum just because I needed to, I wanted to use this up, but this is the Becca Skin Glo Skin Love Glow Elixir. It, it, this is a beautiful little, like, I don't even know what this is. I started using it as like a serum, but for the longest time I used it as like a moisturizer primer that is glowy before putting on makeup, and yeah, I definitely, I loved how bright and moisturized and touchable and made my skin feel but I feel like this is a makeup product I can't I don't know what this is I don't know if this is a makeup product if it's a skincare product I think it's trying to be kind of both I feel like uh, the the little flecks in here there appears to be like little bits of shimmer inside um, I feel like those are just like little micas, so that's not too much of anything, but I did actually really enjoy this. This was a lot of fun to use. Yeah, this is the Becca Skin Love Glow Elixir. I think I would welcome it back into my life, but I probably won't repurchase it. Um, I didn't purchase this. This was actually a free gift on an Ulta order as well. The full size glow elixir, which is actually a really fun gift to receive for free. This was actually a really lovely, tiny little sample of La Roche Posay night cream. Um, this was a really th like thick and super moisturizing and skin loving ingredient uh, formula for like a night cream, but it still was pretty no nonsense. Um, there was no like fragrances or anything weird like that. Nothing to irritate. Uh, just just a, a good old fashioned ultra hydrating night cream, which I like. Yeah, I really enjoyed the texture, but though this sample size is itty bitty, it's actually hard to tell. I think I'd actually like to try it again before I would commit to buying it, but knowing me, I'm probably never gonna need to buy a moisturizer for real. Like a full size moisturizer, just cause I just go, like I always have moisturizer. They, like I'm always getting free samples from all the various Ulta orders I have to do for as being a makeup artist. I tried the the banana souffle uh, moisturizer from Glow Recipe. Really lovely. I love the little banana scent in it. It was like, like nourishing, but it's also uh, absorb, absorbs nicely at the same time. It has a delightful yellow color. A, a nice experience overall. I don't think I'd purchase it myself just because I, I think if I were to buy an expensive moisturizer. I probably, I, you know what I really miss? I miss my Fresh Rose moisturizer from the brand Fresh at Sephora. I also really love Be the Belief True Cream is really beautiful and lovely. The Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream is really beautiful and lovely. Uh, there's just so many other moisturizers that I love, but this is actually really lovely. I enjoyed using it quite a bit. I uh, It was a lot of fun. And I used up this mini of the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. This is the most like no-nonsense, good, ceramide-rich, clinical moisturizers that I think you'll ever find in the, in the drugstore. You can get like a huge tub of this stuff for like 20 bucks, but re yeah, and it plays nice with like anything that you mix with it. Um, I think it would be good on any skin type really. You can use it on your face, you can use it on your body. Um, I've used it on both. Really. I don't know, a good formula. I, I highly recommend it. Um, I still have half a tub. I bought a, like a big tub of this stuff back in February and I still have half of it and I use it on my body as well as on my face too. So I still have so much of it. I probably recommend it just because it's like so versatile and so no nonsense and honestly a good price point. Um, it is a little expensive but you do get a lot. Like you get a big tub of it for like 20, 25 bucks, something like that. A couple masks. Oh yeah, I used up a cleansing gel packet. I had, I had this cleansing gel packet kick, kicking around from PTR, Peter Thomas Roth, the Irish More Mud Cleanser for so long. Actually, this was really nice. Uh, and it was kind of fun to use like a, 
black gel cleanser like a cool experience and I feel like it really kind of detoxifies your face like if you're somebody that has a lot of oil buildup I feel like this would be really nice for you and just like over an overall great cleanser for just like really degunkifying your face I would recommend it I had this sample kicking around for like two years and I finally opened it up and used it same with this the Irish more mad mud mask if this is like a like you know the mask version of this it's just like a detoxifying mud mask not as drying as most mud masks still a little bit drying though but you know sometimes that's what you want when your uh, face is like a l really gunked up with oil it's great for like after travel like if you've come back from like a grueling trip it's nice to do a nice detox detoxifying mask that's what this is so I would recommend that for this I used up three of these uh, 301 skin rose gold masks supposed to be like brightening facial treatment masks and I got a five pack of this stuff from I checked my phone and I lost my train of thought but I got like a five pack of this stuff uh, these masks from a boxycharm and apparently like a five pack of this stuff is like over a hundred dollars it's ridiculous are you telling me like one of these masks is, is worth around twenty dollars that's ridiculous to me especially because uh, I don't feel like it really did anything particularly amazing for my face and the gooey nature of the mask was a little bit difficult to manipulate but it's all it's a, it's fun to do a sheet mask just to kind of you know it's like a self-care rit ritual just to relax it's great if you have a headache to put on like a cold sheet mask and something like that has like that jelly gooey texture is all it's also fun I would never re I would never buy this because it just it doesn't it didn't do anything extraordinary for my face I tried to use it as a serum step a couple times just because it's supposed to be brightening and I haven't had vitamin C in my routine for a while so sometimes I like to use like a brightening mask in place of vitamin C serum but yeah I won't be repurchasing that stuff uh, not my not my favorite not bad nothing wrong with it um, I just I just can't believe that this they say that they claim this is over a hundred dollars worth that's crazy to me it's just crazy okay we're almost done we got some makeup but before we get into some makeup I'll finish another package of baby wipes from Huggies these are just the pure brand this is a jumbo pack I think I got yeah I got this for like two bucks at the 99 cent store um, why is it two dollars at the 99 cent store I don't know but um, these weren't my favorite. Uh, these were fine. They were good. They were great. I like Huggies. Uh, Huggies, I think, it makes the best baby wipes out of all the brands of baby wipes. Um, I feel like they're really strong and soft. And I like the, I like any kind of baby wipe that's just fragrance free, just cause, because they're less irritating. But I like the Naturals a lot better than these ones. I feel like these were not doing as much as the the Natural brand, like the nat the Huggies Naturals. Those, I feel like, are just better wipes. They just do a better job, like, cleaning your hands and cleaning your tools. Like, I feel like this one, yeah, it's 99% pure water. Uh, and I guess a little bit of this and that. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, if I were to repurchase more wipes, I'm going to get the, the Huggies Naturals rather than these ones. I'm retiring these mascaras out of my kit. The... Jeez, so loud. Sorry guys, it's a city. I'm almost done! <laughs> I'm retiring these Paradise Mascaras, Voluminous, Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascaras from my kit. They're, they've dried out, and I think I've actually did a good job using them up for the most part. But yeah, these are actually amazing. I love these. Uh, I got the regular and the waterproof formula. The waterproof formula is a little bit more dry, but they are being retired out of my kit just because it's been six months since I opened them. So, and I I actually replaced them with the uh, Great Lash mascaras, the you know the pink tube with the green top, the classic. Um, those are actually a great kit mascara as well. These are also a really great kit mascara. They're very comparable to like the but like a lot of mascaras that you can buy at Sephora, like high-end mascaras, they're very comparable to those. They make your lashes look beautiful. I really love Lash Paradise. I think I will repurchase these again one day. I think they're, they're, they're a little bit too drying as a kit mascara, 
they still work plenty great and um, as long as you're switching them out often they still they still like are wet enough to use as a kit mascara so I love these I love L'Oreal lash pa voluminous lash paradise mascaras they're great some of my favorites. I used up this uh, Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, the primer slash moisturizer. I use, I actually have two minis. I have another mini of this stuff that I have in my kit. But yeah, I love this stuff. This is actually probably my favorite like primer to have in a kit. It's great on both oily and dry skin types. It's got that niacinamide, so it's really, niacinamide is a great like skin balancing ingredient and it's just really beautiful underneath makeup. I really love this stuff. I think I've featured like the Smashbox Primerizer several times before in other empties videos of mine and I'm, I'm still gonna keep buying it and keep loving it because it's literally like my favorite primer to use inside of a kit, so I will be repurchasing it. I'm retiring this little eyeliner from my kit. This is the Makeup Forever Aqua XL eyeliner in the shade M10. It's the regular black formula. As you can see, it's nice and small, so it's time to retire it out of my kit. I did already repurchase it because this is the best waterproof eyeliner for inside the, the lash line, the inside the waterline on the market. It is like, bulletproof. It is beautiful, nice and black, it doesn't run, it is just, it's just great. I can't sing the praises of this product enough. Um, this is my favorite waterproof eyeliner. It doesn't budge, it stays in the waterline, it's black, really black. I, I think, I can't say anything else, it's perfect, it's beautiful, I love it. I emptied out not one, not two, but three! foundations out of my kit. Actually, one of the shades, which is actually my shade, uh, the one 120 Y245, I've been out of for a while, but I just finally sat down and like squeezed whatever was left in these into a smaller container so I can go ahead and just recycle these containers. But yeah, I, I finally did that today. And then like, uh, this is, yeah, my shade, one 120 Y 245 and this is Y335 and Y225 and I've kind of been mixing these two together to come because like most people are like ironically either my skin tone or like close to my skin tone that I work on. Um, of course I've worked on like a whole spectrum of, of skin tones but usually most of the people I work on are like mine. My skin tone are pretty close to my pretty close to my skin tone I guess I guess when people choose a makeup artist, they kind of and have an affinity to somebody that kind of looks like them because they feel like, feel like they're gonna get their skin tone a little bit better. So yeah, that makes sense to me. But I love these foundations. These are just like the Makeup Forever HD foundations are beautiful in almost any situation. Like they, uh, you can use them in film, bridal, uh, for photo shoots. Like you can use them on oily skin, dry skin, depending on like what you mix it with. Like you can put like, uh, oil controlling primer underneath them, and it'll be great for oily skin. You can uh, add a little bit of glycerin or an oil to these to make it a dewy finish. You can put a lot of powder on it to make it a matte finish. You can build. It's like a medium to full coverage, so you can kind of like get a really skin like appearance as well or you can just get a, like, a really full coverage experience. I, I've used this kit, I've used this foundation in my kit since the dawn of time and I think I'm gonna continue to use it. Though I'm, I am interested in trying out like the Face Atelier foundations for, kit, for the kit because I feel like those are popular for a lot of makeup artists. Though these days we're not doing a ton of makeup gigs, so I'm just gonna work with other, my other foundations that I still have in my kit. I'm not gonna buy anything new for a while, but once we get a co Corona vaccine, I probably will be repurchasing these, especially in these colors, because as you can see, these are popular colors. I use these all the time. This is the second bottle of this shade I've used up. Probably gonna go third. Lasts all day if you want it to. Um, doesn't break anybody out. I mean, not that I know of. Like, I haven't had anybody report that this stuff breaks them out. 
beautiful. Just be I can't sing the praises enough. I just love the stuff. I love Makeup Forever and I've used up three of the foundation shades. Can you believe it? Three foundations. One last item. I used up this mini of the D Slick setting spray from Urban Decay. I love the Urban Decay setting sprays. They're, I think, an essential for my kit. I like having this one for my oily clients just to because I feel like the Urban Decay setting sprays are do a really beautiful job just to get your makeup to be more long-lasting. This I think does a good job. Not the best job in the world, but a good enough job of controlling oil and getting that makeup to last a little bit longer. So I think I will repurchase this one day, but I do have a Scandinavia oil controlling setting spray that I bought before the pandemic, thinking that I was going to use this up pretty quickly. but. Um, I haven't opened that yet. I'm gonna open that when it comes time to open it. And I really loved it. Um, this was awesome. So, yeah, that is it, guys. That was my empties from the last time I did an empties video. So you can see it was quite a bit. Let me know down below uh, in the comments some things that you emptied out this month, uh, some empties that you've been really enjoying, if there's anything that you'd like to suggest to me to replace some of my empties with, I would love to hear about that in the comments as well. Make sure if you wanted to pick up anything that I talked about today, I hope that you use my Rakuten link to sign up for Rakuten, just because that you get that cash back and then you get that $40 bonus. So who wants, who wants a free $40? I do. I'm, I'm sure you do do. So if you're planning on doing some online shopping sometime soon, perhaps getting prepared for the holidays, definitely use Rakuten. But that is it, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. I really enjoyed hanging out with you. And until next time, cheers. Bye!